Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from ShrinkingPastor.com. And together, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again, club members. <laughs> Welcome back to Tobacco Advent, our annual countdown to Christmas. So today, we're going to smoke, and yes, I did go shopping for some fourth generation tobacco. Mm. We're going to be smoking fourth generation family reserve. Again, from Eric Stokeby, like the last tobacco that I bought. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the tobacco out. Why don't you read what we are about to experience. In celebration of 160 years of family tradition, I have revived one of my grandfather's original recipes from his blending book. This family reserve blend is a truly unique mixture consisting of deep brown burleys, broad cut Virginias, black Cavendish, and sprinkles of mature navy flake. The top note is a delightful combination of prunes, marzipan, and vanilla. What? Prunes, marzipan, and vanilla, bringing out an enjoyable smoke and light, sweet aroma. The Family Reserve blend is best enjoyed in a fourth generation, 1897 pipe honoring my grandfather. Cheers, oh. Eric Stokeby. I don't have one of those. Nope. You know, Eric Stokeby is a big fan of the show. Is he? If he'd like to send me one of those, I'd oh, be yeah. certain to smoke it. Sure. That is an interesting <laughs> blend. I know. It's a, it's really a cool. wild variety. It's, it's very similar to the, uh, the the German Fruit Loopy tobacco, and it's got a lot of different things going on. Yeah. There. It looks, just looking at it, because some of the cuts are pretty large, it looks like the uh, like a dried fruit section in Whole Foods. Like... Like it looks like there's some. That is not all bad. No, it looks like there's some dried prunes, dates, and plums, or whatever. And marzipan. Marzipan. <laughs> Vanilla and marzipan. Marzipan, which is something of a candy made from ground almonds. Hmm. That they, they form into little shapes and things. I got a little pig that I bought in Germany made of marzipan. It's got to be at least 15 years old and it's not looking pretty. <laughs> the marzipan is not meant to be kept. Right. <laughs> I'll put a picture on Instagram today. Remind me of that, and I'll uh, I'll do that. Of my marzipan pig. All right. So today's question. You ready for this boy? No. All right. Yeah. Get ready. What has been the biggest change in your life since last Christmas? The biggest change in your life since last Christmas. Now, mine's easy, but for me, it's not been my favorite change. Uh, we've had a lot of a lot of great changes with um, several new granddaughters in the family. Um, we purchased purchased. My employer hired someone to be the yin to my yang in our training department. And over the course of this last year, getting her up to speed and now being able to turn over a number of my responsibilities to her, which allows me to do things I've not been able to do, um, that's been a great change. But I have to say the biggest change this year, if I could pull up my pant leg and show you the leg brace I'm wearing, and uh, the, the preparations that I'm undergoing to, to have at least some surgery, probably knee replacement surgery, um, the, 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 the pain and the discomfort and the change in my lifestyle this year has been a huge change. Um, I put on a bunch of weight and you actually can see um, somewhat of an absence if you look at my videos on my channel where I started to get really self-conscious about how big I was getting. And I'm a big guy anyway. I've never been accused of being svelte. <laughs> but um, since the beginning of last year, I put on 30 pounds. Now I'm, I'm in the process of losing weight. And, and unfortunately, I haven't even lost that 30 yet. But I'm getting closer. And, uh, you know, my, my doctor is proud of me for having done that. But he didn't know me last year before I put all that weight on, right? right? So, you know, the, the putting on the weight because of being inactive, because of the pain, caused even more pain. 
and uh, you know d days where I've slept on the recliner because I couldn't go up the stairs and if I could go up the stairs I couldn't come back down the next day um, so that's that's huge that's a real real problem yeah. and you know on the uh, Aristocob uh, International Corn Cob Pipe Month video contest this year I asked people about their goal their three-year goal and several people talked about needing to lose weight and needing to have surgeries that mm -hmm. that were encouraging that weight loss <clears throat> and I'm, I'm right there with them and that's really super frustrating the the other changes in my life have made my life better and, and right. fun and I'm, I'm loving our family with the with all the extended children that we have and now have seven grandkids absolutely fantastic I love it um, but again I think about inactivity with great grandkids around is not a great combination <clears throat> so yeah sorry to bring this one down but that's that's for me wah, the, wah. <laughs> it's been the Tebby Downer how about you bring us up boy well you asked the biggest the biggest change and I'm not sure <laughs> you had several big changes, right? I've had several big changes. Um, uh, so, the beginning of the year, the beginning of the year, my wife and I found out that we were pregnant with a, a third child that we were not expecting to have so soon. <laughs> and uh, at the time... You know how that works, right? Uh, well, my doctors... Usually, clarif usually there's a lapse of insurance. Right, yeah. My, my my doctor clarified it for me um, before, yeah, uh, or, or since then. Uh, you know, at the time, at the time, um, Augie, my my middle son, wasn't. Uh, he was six months old, um, so that was uh, not expected. Excuse me. And um, so we we got uh, got to find out. Um, several months after that that we were having a girl so we now have a complete set and one spare uh, so, so I mean I'm not saying who the spare is but but if you're watching this in the future boys you need to behave mm -hmm. but you, you, you know who you are <laughs> we used to tell Seth when he was a kid Whenever he would say, I don't want to clean my room. Well, you know, your big brother used to say that, too. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, you know, that, that, has, that has brought about a huge change. Having, uh, having a daughter now is, is awesome. Um, having a four-year-old, a one-year-old, and a two-, three-month-old in the house is crazy. Um, at... at <laughs> Told, told my wife the other night, it's it's like playing screaming, crying ping pong, where you just kind of <laughs> bounce back and forth from room to room to whoever's screaming and crying the loudest at the moment. And so as soon as one kid gets settled, or in the process of settling one kid, the other one is screaming. And and so um, in my house, someone is is angry all the time. Um, and and s sometimes it's the kids, sometimes it's the parents. Uh, it just depends, but uh, it is it is also wonderful, and um, I am grateful that I'm grateful that uh, having we had decided we wanted a, a, a third kid, a third try for a girl, and um, having all the kids now so close together in age and so young means that I, I will get to enjoy. Um, Get to enjoy them as they grow up and get to enjoy grandkids hopefully and um and it also means that we're we're going to move past this very difficult stage quickly with two of them diverse um yeah so you know uh spreading them out you're going through the sleepless nights and diapers um uh, just you know spread out over a long period of time so we're just we're just getting it over with pretty quick you, um, you've got such wonderful kids, I have to tell you. Yeah. But I can't wait for your daughter to get to Lida's stage. Oh, yeah. And that is 
my daughter's yeah. youngest child, who is a daughter, who's a few months older than Seth's daughter, is now alert. And, you know, with Seth's daughter, you'll look at her, and and you know, this is your face, and and she's looking at the light or looking at the fan or or attracted to the TV, and you're trying to get her eye to look at you, and she's looking at everything else and not connecting to the face yet. But when she does periodically, and when she does hone in, uh, there's usually smiles involved, and mm. it's it's amazing. Yeah, so it's awesome. Um, you know, it, it's it's interesting with kids how you just go in phases with with what you're dealing with, and um, we've had some friends tell us that there's always that that whatever phase you're in will get better, and there's always a new phase that will be worse later, or that will be bad later. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're, we've dealt with some jealousy issues with the brothers, um, with mom being uh, so focused on the baby. We've dealt with, um, we're de dealing with an attitude now, um, pushback. Uh, there's just been a lot of flux what, what's in your our attitude? family recently. What's the attitude you've got? Uh, well, you know. No, I'm yeah. joking. Um, <laughs> You're trying to answer my question. Yeah. Uh, so that's been a big change. Um, the other big change is I've changed my job. Changed, um, <laughs> changed my job, though to my surprise have not. Ter changed too terribly much my field um, so you know I was in a plumbing service field and now in a plumbing uh, supplier uh, manufacturing field um, so it, it's it was it was surreal to me I, I don't remember if I talked to this talked about this uh, we went to I went to Phoenix Arizona uh, which was a big change I, I traveled have traveled um, more this last year than I have in, in previous years too um, with work functions and uh, uh, when I went to Phoenix, I went there for a plumbing engineer show. We were presenting at a plumbing show, and um, there, there was just this moment where I recognized a lot of the companies from working in the plumbing company. Um, I understood most of the, many of the products that I encountered because of, of, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't be able to install them, but when I was working as a service manager, I learned a lot about uh, how plumbing works what what things are important, what things are not so important. Um, so you were actually able to be productive at the show, right? You brought mm -hmm. brought some value. Uh, you weren't just a booth babe. I, I, mostly I was. Um, yeah, I, wore, I brought out the shorty shorts. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and so, uh, well, yeah, I was able to be productive as far as as far as our product goes, but. It's just it, it's it's a very surreal moment to me because two years ago it's it's not even I didn't start working at the plumbing company until um, the week of Christmas until December twenty second two years ago and so uh, two years ago at, at this time I was still working in a high school um, and in the plumbing world was totally foreign to me absolutely and completely. Um, doing anything in that kind of realm was was very different, and my you know career trajectory just changed uh, in a second. And um, what's interesting and fun is I'm I all of that time the, the areas that I have really excelled uh, in my different roles um, are the same areas that I excelled in the educator role. That's teaching, that's training, that's helping people, engaging with people. And so I did that at the plumbing company as a manager. I'm doing that now with customers. Um, and so it's interesting to recognize how the areas where you are gifted and the areas where you are passionate, if you can find something that, that really um, lets you focus on both of those, yeah. those are things that you will be drawn to. Those, those are things that you will be drawn to and those are things that you will excel in. So you know, if you're not in a place, a workplace in particular, that gives you the opportunity uh, to pursue those things, I would recommend either seeing if that workplace has those opportunities or um, maybe pursuing something else. So what was your biggest change this year since last Christmas? Uh, I have let my hair grow out. So Mostly on your cheeks. Yes. All right, very good. All right, answer the question. Good luck in the drawing, and we will see you tomorrow. See ya.